The FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour is in China for the second week in a row as the planet's best players battle it out for gold. Up next, USA take on Germany right here in Fuzhou. Hello and welcome to Centre Court. Clayton Lucas here with you for the final from the Fuzhou Open. The number one seeds from the USA. Kerry Walsh and April Ross are up against Germany's Chantal Labra and Julia Suda seeded 16. And for those of you who've been following this tour and this week and were watching last week in Xiamen, you will know that as we see how the teams made it through to this stage, that uh, in fact last week Suda and Labra played Walsh and Ross in the bronze medal match. That was won by the USA. And then this week, the two teams have been in action again. They were paired in Pool A here at the Fuzhou Open. And that was a win again for the Americans. But that one was in, uh, in three sets. The conditions, the thing of note for those of you that have been watching is the wind really has picked up here. And it is quite blustery how much of an effect that will have on proceedings we will find out it is quite well protected here from the elements with the in terms of the wind by the grandstand however it will swirl around a little bit the bronze medal match in Xiamen saw the USA win 24-22 21-15 here this week in Pool A the USA beat Labra and Suda 21-19 20-22 15-10 in the decider so Germany getting better although they haven't managed a win and now they find themselves in the gold medal match they've been here a couple of times before but have never managed to take victory and have gold they've got career bests of uh, two silver medals what will happen today? Well, we're going to find out. Can they break their duck and win a gold? We'll find out before all that. Then we're going to meet the referees in charge today ahead of this encounter. The first official from China is uh, Liu Hongyu. And the second referee also from China today is Wang Lijun. Time then for the players to make their way out onto court. Are you ready for the introduction of the players? We're going to start with the USA. Player number one, Kerry Walsh Jennings. She's 37 years of age from San Jose, California. Lives on Manhattan Beach. What a wonderful part of the world to live and uh, play your volleyball. 110 tournaments, 15 seasons, 51 career wins. Looking to make this career win number 52. $1.3 million in prize money. Her playing partner, April Ross, 33 years of age from Newport Beach, California. Now lives in Costa Mesa, California. 17 career wins in her 110 tournaments and 11 seasons on tour. And $910,000 in prize money. All of which far exceeds what uh, Germany have been able to achieve so far in their rather shorter careers as Juliet Suda comes out onto court the 28 year old from Friedrich Schaffen she's got 90 tournaments in fact only 20 behind the Americans two or three silver medals six silvers overall in her career $220,000 in prize money Chantal Lebera just uh, 26 years of age from Berlin she won the uh, FIVB age group world championships in The Hague in 2008 has two silver medals $106,000 in prize money this by far their biggest game to date in the build-up to the Olympic Games. Away we go with the final from the Fuzhou Open here in China. Germany in yellow serving and it's the USA scrambling in blue to get side out, which they do. April Ross finding a line roll to leave Chantal Lebera standing and watching. Ross with the serve.
Oh, that was unlucky. Almost kept in play. Chantal Labra has been the player who's done most of the passing and hitting in the tournament. The USA went after a big time in Xiamen. They went after again here in Fuzhou. But certainly one thing that Germany will be really pleased with is their performance in their semi-final. The way Chantal Labra went out and uh, set about her business. As uh, Germany get their side out, they beat um, Joanna Heydrich and Nadim Zunker of Switzerland, 21-17, 21-7. That really was a brilliant performance in exactly 30 minutes to book their place in the final. They'll be hoping for a similar performance here, at least in terms of how they play and the lack of errors that they made. They'll want to replicate that. And the wind really is picking up. Still pretty well shielded on court. Oh, eight serve, brilliant from April Ross. Right down the middle. Suda and Labra not really talking. Stressing that communication channel big time. Again, more trouble here for Germany. It's going to be a free ball for the USA. Although Ross having to stretch for that one. Another team able to get full control of things at the moment. Making for a very good rally. And in the end, it's the USA who get it. Great work from April Ross as that ball caught the net. Could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? to serve. Labra being forced wide and having to come all the way across court on that uh, pre-planned play. Oh dear, after you, no, after you, oh, neither of us. This is no place to stand on ceremony, get that ball off the sand and Germany have to regroup, rethink and they've called timeout. 6-2 down in the opening set of this gold medal match here in China. Oh, it's a brilliant serve from April Ross. Germany had called a timeout because they were 6-2 down. They needed to regroup and rethink. They've come out and conceded a point straight away. Off of a very good serve from April Ross, right onto that baseline. Well, that's a decent cut shot. So the floodlights coming on now as the uh, clouds gather and it gets darker and darker here. Hopefully it won't affect play. We had some uh, serious rain in the men's final yesterday at around about this time. 
It could well come in, but it certainly won't affect the quality of play from these teams. And as far as the USA are concerned, they're keen to get on with things here, aren't they? 8-4 up. Walsh Jennings with the serve. She'll come through to block. Needs to serve tough enough not to allow Germany to go over on two. She's done that and doesn't have to come in to block. Makes the break. Scrams it off the net. Oh, that was unlucky. It came out the bottom of that net a little bit quicker than I think April Ross, uh, Kerry Walsh expected. And she only managed to give it some more momentum on its way to uh, April. So Germany scramble a side out. Julia Sude with the serve. It's an interesting call, isn't it, when a player shouts you. Generally, when a player is calling, it's because they're calling to take the ball themselves. And it's one of those uh, things you see more often in beach volleyball. Certainly don't see it so much in indoor volleyball. Somebody calling you. You take it, not me. Generally just comes out as you. Ooh, that was close. Really close, but no cigar, no point. Good touch from Suda, well watched. Lovely angle, that's nice play from Germany. And showing the skills that got them into this final. Germany have got a few points on the board, haven't they? They're getting back towards parity with the USA. But plays like that won't help. That's better. Good serve from Suda. Teams have been going after Kerry Walsh. They have been trying to force her deep, attack her shoulder. And it pays off that time for Suda. Walsh did think that one was going to go out, though. And comes back with a lovely roll shot right onto that baseline. As good as it gets, we hit the technical timeout. USA leading by three in this gold medal match here in Fujo. Labra was hoping that was going to reach the net and then it would have probably just come back out again and allow her to play it. Unfortunately, though, the stats show an ace serve for April Ross as far as Germany are concerned. She's having some good service spells, actually, in his April. Will it come back? Yes, it will. Oh, comes back brilliant as well because Germany now under pressure. 
cracking swing from April Ross. Excellent point for the USA as they increase their lead here in the first set. And that was awesome volleyball, wasn't it, from the number one seeds? Good leave. Nice play again, just cutting that one to the line. Ross just going to an ease a little too early. That ball not carrying far enough, so Germany have something to smile about. Able to kind of get any momentum at the moment, are they, Germany? Hey. Oh, that's a brilliant pickup, and it lands in play. Full stretch, April Ross, not letting that one hit the sand. Just watch April Ross as this one goes across. See where she moves and goes, reads it brilliantly. And then is delighted to see that one land in court. Well, that was another opportunity for Ross, but she just couldn't get her legs to work quickly enough. Simple put away this time. Nice dig. Elder Grand. And then brings back the arm and lets fly with some heat of her own. And the USA now on the verge of taking this first set, just two more points required. She's done that twice now, hasn't she? Come up with that cut shot, cross court. Okay. Set point now then for the USA. Oh, lovely set from Suda. But it's a great block from Walsh. And that one is a lovely shot into the corner from Labra. Under immense pressure, set point down. Gets blocked, makes the pickup, comes back, puts it away in the corner, and keeps Germany in the set.
And that's it. First set goes away of the USA, 21-15. Brilliant performance from them. Germany with no answers. They went 6-2 down. Couldn't really get themselves back into it. The USA just pulled away. Right now, the number one seed's too good. This is how it was done. There's a quick look, sees where they are. And look, they're both right behind each other. Walking the tightrope, Germany. Loads of room for the USA to put that one away. Confirmation then of the first set score. There's the dancing girls entertain the fans. And those guys look a little bit ominous, don't they? Hopefully they'll stay away and just blow across the court. 21-15 in favour of the USA. They are one set away from victory here in Fuzhou. So away we go then with this second set. Germany with the serve, USA one set to the good. And one set away from a gold medal. It's must win time for Germany. And it's the USA who get the first side out. Nice touch by Sudesh Labra. Only gives it straight back to Walsh and Ross tidies up. It's interesting looking at the dynamic of the USA now. It was very much a case of when Ross and Walsh came together. Walsh was very much the number one player, the dominant player, the player that uh, really drove things in the team. But such as their dominance as a pairing, that Ross in her own right is shining through. And, uh, Probably for many, the player that really nobody wants to go after anymore. And that's evident from the fact that we're seeing teams like here in the final are going after Kerry Walsh with the serve. And Ross not doing much in the way of having to side out at all other than put the ball up for Walsh Jennings to have a swing. An incredible amount of work rate that April Ross does behind the block as well of Kerry Walsh. We've already seen that in the first set, two incredible pickups. All of which just heaps the pressure on the other team. Oh, that would have been special. But really clever play again, that's, that's experience for you from Kerry Walsh. Ross popped it up, but Walsh knew she couldn't get around, couldn't go up and have a swing on the ball and didn't even try to. So then she tried to make it difficult by digging it over instead of just giving a free ball back. But it's no danger in that respect. Germany not able to capitalise on that. And USA get a free side out. They lead 4-3, they lead one set to nothing. Walsh with the serve. Not quite jumping high enough. The net's 2 metres 24 on the beach for the women. It's 2 metres 43 
for men, exactly the same height as it is indoors. The only real difference is the fact the court's smaller. It's eight metres by eight metres, and the block counts as a touch. But the rest of the rules are, are pretty similar. There is one important rule on the setting, though, that uh, you must set the ball through your shoulders if you are setting the ball over the net. In other words, you cannot face, for example, the second referee and then set the ball across your shoulders, across the net. That would be illegal. Good touch. Oh, that was unlucky again. Suda running desperately, looking a little bit like a cartoon character. Her legs were going 10 to the dozen, but she wasn't making any forward momentum. And she desperately tried to get across the sand. Had she made this, it would have been something special, wouldn't it? Just couldn't get there in time. More points for the USA. And just a little bit more pressure being heaped on Germany. Well, it's hard work for Germany, isn't it? It has to be. They're playing against one of the best teams in the world. It's not going to be easy. And they are raising their game. Good up. And it's Germany who take the point, and they've leveled things up here. As the teams get ready to change ends, we have a game on our hands. That one not going back over. So after getting level, they've managed to give away two quick points. Big swing, but Suda's in the way. Doesn't stop the roll shot, though. First real opportunity for Ross to have a go at the ball. Took two attempts, you won't mind that. It's gone down. USA leading by two. Down the middle from Lebera.
Well watched. Chance to go level again, taken by Germany. And uh, Kerry Walsh just signaling to the referee that we're a double touch on the setting. But it comes to nothing. It's uh, Germany who are back level. That angle good enough. Getting it in between Suda and Lebera. So, technical timeout, just one point separating the teams. Now, for those of you that are about to go out and play volleyball, whether it be on the beach or indoors, and maybe there's uh, some of you are about to go and play and try and win the league or win the cup, whatever it is you might be doing, then good luck to you, and I hope you are successful. But before you go, though, just you need to stay and watch this game to see how it pans out. Germany have managed to get themselves back into it. The USA having to fight hard now in this second set. They still have the lead, albeit by one point. Good block out from Lerbera. Nice high swing, wasn't it? From Kerry Walsh takes it almost near the top of the antenna, very difficult to stop as a blocker when the ball is that high, because if you're reaching up to it, you're not getting across the net. Another good angle. Both the German players have hit really well from the right side across to the left with very sharp angles. They're going after same player they've been going after throughout the entire game. Really no changes in what they're doing, but they're unable to make it count. It's Kerry Walsh who is the player who's going to have to do most of the siding out. She's doing it pretty well. Brilliant. Can it come back? Oh, it does. With a little bit of heat on it as well. Oh, brilliant. Germany keep knocking on that door. Will they get let in? Doesn't look like it. And they have not been let in, have they? The USA take the point. Denying Germany again. Excellent, excellent rally. April Ross just highlighting her ability in the back court on the sand with her defence. Ross there again. Puts it down again. The USA now making their move. Just stepping up her gear. Germany sensing the danger, calling the timeout.
Well, the rally, both teams scrambling hard. And it's Suda who makes a block. A timeout doing its job. A quick swing from Kerry Walsh. Suda had her hands up in the air, but not across the net. So the block out achieved. And it just caught the line. We could see it quivering as the ball went down into the sand. Walsh hits the line. And the USA don't look like they're going to be giving up this lead anytime soon, do they? Matching Germany point for point at the moment. Ross again is just proving unstoppable. She's scurrying around the sand, picking the ball up without any difficulty. And then putting it away when required. Good leave. Deep jump, float, serve. Well, trying to Julius Brink, but it didn't work. Oh, a chance to hit hard, not taken. Suda picks it up. Nice up. Another rally that just doesn't want to end. And still it's in play. And in the end, Ross goes over on two, says, I've had enough of that, we need to breathe. And it brings up match point for the USA. Well, an exhausting rally. Thoroughly exciting rally. And the USA now have match point. And that's it, it's all over. The USA get the ball down, they take the set 21 15, the match 2 0. It's gold in China for the USA. This is how it was done. Little pokey into the corner. It's another medal for the USA, back-to-back -back medals for them. It was bronze in Jamen, it's gold here in Fuzhou. And it's Germany that they have beaten again in the process. On a positive note for Lebera and Suda, although they've been beaten, they have got themselves a silver medal but they could have no answer on the day to a consummate performance from the number one seeds, 21-15, 21-15. Yeah. Germany just had no answer. It really was a magnificent performance. And in particular, April Ross was outstanding, wasn't she? Working behind the blocking of Kerry Walsh. The players now down on centre court. Let's uh, hear from our winners. Congratulations, ladies. How are you feeling to be back on the top of the podium? Oh my gosh! Woo! Yeah.
Yeah, they just feel so good to execute. And we, we always want to win, but sometimes we get caught up in winning, so we don't do the little things. But today, it was so fun. And April played amazing defense. To win gold medals, you need to play great defense, and that's what April did today. So fun. How are you April? Great. Um, we started this tournament really rough. It took a long time for us to get in rhythm. Um, and I'm just so proud how we hung together and we battled and we got better every match. And this is the best we've played, I think, in two weeks. So it was awesome. Really great. What do you think this means to you going forward in the season, this, this gold medal? It means we're improving. That's bottom line. That's all we want to do every single weekend. It's so important for us to play these teams. Because to win a gold medal in Rio, you have to get there to the gold medal match, and all these teams are going to be in our way. And so we're learning, we're working with them, we're letting them elevate our play. But it feels really good. Congratulations, well done, girls. Thank you. Congratulations, indeed. A magnificent performance from the USA. They have done it. They've taken gold here in Fuzhou. That concludes our coverage, a medal ceremony to come. But until then, from all of us here, it's time to say goodbye and leave you with the highlights. Welcome to the awards ceremony. The Maria Bias Boas, the FIVB referee delegate, will read out the medalists for us in English. FIVB referee 
It's uh, an honour and a privilege to do so, a part of the customs here in China, to announce the winners ahead of the ceremony. So the medal ceremony will now get underway. All the uh, volunteers and helpers are all out uh, on the court, ready for the uh, walk of honour from the three teams who will be led out and uh, it will be high fives all round as they uh, come on to the court. One of the easiest bronze medal matches that uh, Joanna Heydrich and Nadine Zumke have ever played in. All they had to do was sign the score sheet. They'd won 21 nothing, 21 nothing, And that was because their uh, compatriots, Anna Anouk Vej Dupree and uh, Isabel Ferrer had to forfeit the game. Unfortunately, Isabel Ferrer had a hip injury that she sustained in the loss to the USA in the semi-final and was unfit to play. She was uh, desperately, desperately upset, really wanted to come out and compete. And it should have been, and well, definitely would have been, a cracking bronze medal match. Switzerland taking on Switzerland. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. And a tearful Isabel Ferrer had to forfeit the game. However, we were treated to an epic gold medal match. And whilst it didn't go to three sets and it was 21-15, 21-15, it really was a masterclass in beach volleyball. And if you are just joining us for the awarding ceremony, then please, after this is finished, go back and watch the game. It was fantastic. Lots to learn, technically, lots to learn in terms of how to commit to a play, not give up and come back from when points are lost. And the USA really did that brilliantly. Credit too to Germany, who fought hard, battled bravely, made few mistakes, but just could not match the USA in terms of their ability to play defense from the sand. So the players, having made their way around the court, they're ready to go on to the dais. So, Joanna Heydrich and Nadine Zumke from Switzerland can make their way onto the podium. Joanna Heydrich, 24 years of age, from Zurich, lives in Klotten. She's had two career wins. They had a, a first here in China last year, in fact, in Xiamen. And it's a bronze medal here for them in Fuzhou this year. The director of the Rong Chao Group Company Limited, Mr. Lin Kialji, is presenting the bronze medals. Also, will be presenting the very nice plates, commemorative plates, and also the all-important check. Nadine Zumke, the 31-year-old from Bern, has three career wins, has another medal to go on the mantelpiece, along with a nice cuddly toy. Congratulations to Switzerland. So next on to the podium, Chantel Labra and Julius Suda. The team that missed out last week in Xiamen. They got to the semi finals, they were beaten. They got to the bronze medal match against the USA, Ross and Walsh, and they were beaten. And they had to look on as the other teams stood in their place and went on to the podium. But this week they can celebrate as they have a silver medal here. And look at that, they are delighted. 
Well, they've already forgotten the fact that they were beaten, but they were beaten by a really good team. They've worked hard all week. They deserve to be in the final. But they gave it their all. It just wasn't good enough. They can enjoy their silver medal. Mr. Huang Jianxiong, the Deputy Secretary General of the Fuzhou People's Government, is presenting the silver medals. Also the plates, the cuddly toys and the check. Labra from Berlin and Suda from Friedrichshafen will be going back to their respective towns with smiles from ear to ear. Congratulations to Germany. But now to step up onto the podium, it's another week and another medal for the USA. 52 career wins now for Kerry Walsh. It's win number 17 on the tour for April Ross. And they showed us exactly what they're about. They've been working really hard over the last two years to get in shape, to get ready, to be able to play. Kerry Walsh Jennings in particular having to sort her shoulder out, come back. And they certainly are looking good. That was a really, really good performance from them in this final. The gold medals being presented by Miss Chen Yi, who is the vice mayor of the Fuzhou People's Government. And I think it's fair to say, those of you that watched the final and listened to the interview, both uh, Ross and Wall said that it's probably the best they've played in a couple of weeks. Everything went right for them. They uh, got everything in gear and everything was uh, a well-oiled machine, wasn't it? Congratulations to the USA gold medalists here in Fuzhou. Time now to be upstanding for the national anthem of the USA. USA reign supreme here in China. April Ross and Kerry Walsh have taken gold here at the Fuzhou Open, matching their compatriots in the men's events, Lucena and Dalhauser also taking gold. Congratulations to all our medalists here in Fuzhou from myself, Clayton Lucas. It's time to say goodbye until next time. <laughs>